Hello everyone. In this video I want to show you how to use basic formatting to change the look and feel of your Nintex form. So here I am using an online job application form that I created and you can see that it contains all of the necessary fields for a job application including the contact details of the applicant, the job they are applying for and also an area to attach a resume. At the top of the form, I have already added in the logo of my fictional company, Creston. And this is as simple as entering the URL of the image in this field at the top. The logo URL needs to be a publicly accessible URL if you want the form to appear outside your firewall. And since this is an online job application form, I do. So my image sits in Dropbox and I use a public link from there. Now let's apply some basic formatting to move away from the plain white background and to tie in the logo to the rest of the form. Basic formatting is changed through the settings button in the ribbon. Now to change the background colour, you want to select a colour that you want and I've chosen a nice teal blue green and you want to enter a, the hex code into the background colour field. Alright, so we'll save this and you can see that my background colour has now changed. For the font colour and size, I want white and I want it to be bold. So I can change this first label control using the formatting options at the top of the page and I'm going to change the font colour as I said to white and bold. Now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to use the Format Painter to apply this formatting to the remainder of the label controls. And I have one more to do down here. The next thing we can do is create a smartphone version. So the layout button is in the ribbon and when I select this, a smartphone version of the form will be created. So this means once published, the form we have just created will render on all mobile devices such as iPhones, Blackberries, etc. Now all of the fields have been populated, but you may have to tweak the form a little bit. So for instance, first name and last name aren't next to each other, so I'm just going to switch these controls around. You can also see that my logo doesn't quite fit and this is because it's coming from a desktop layout. So in order to make a smartphone logo, I'm just going to delete this control since it's linked to the desktop version and I'm going to enter a new image and this time the URL that I'm going to put in will link to the logo I've created for this specific size. Okay, and you can see that it fits a lot better. You'll also notice that the background colour isn't there, so again we just go to settings and in the appearance section enter the colour that I'm after. Okay, so here is our form and that was quite simple. We've just created two forms, desktop and smartphone, and now we're ready to do something with it. So. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to make this form accessible outside your firewall with Nintex Live Forms.